new song called Inside Out. I know you guys are writing for a six record. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we, uh, we've been writing for album number six since earlier this year. Uh, and we have a bunch of songs uh, put together. And we are still in the demo demoing stage. But we're hoping to record the album uh, sometime by the end of this year. Claudio. Um, is it cool playing with new drummers? Is it like been really easy, uh, easy fit with him? Yeah, it's been a very easy transition because we've known Claudio for years. Even going back to, like, he was a kid. I mean, he's not that much younger than Josh and I, but uh, there was a place called the Foxfire Coffee Lounge, and they had, like, a chat, like, a, um, online uh, chat room, and he would always talk smack on everybody on there. So we've known him for a while. Um, and he's actually... Uh, he's actually toured with us. He's worked for us at one point, even filled in for Tony when he broke his arm a few years ago. And uh, yeah, so it's been really easy and it's been a lot of fun. I know you guys fall plan to tour with Bayside. Um, no, we just, well, I mean, there's, you know, we're finishing up the Warp Tour right now. And then, um, yes, and then we're going on tour with Bayside and we're going to hit uh, a handful of of uh, cities outside of, you know, the ones that we've played on the Warp Tour with them. Yeah, being, for, being a band as long as you guys have, you guys have relatively kept together and kind of uh, stayed as a state of band and just keep putting out new music and stuff. What do you find it, uh, it takes to like, keep a band, uh, a band together and just keep, just keep going? I think, I think the most important thing is just a drive to want to keep creating music with the same people. So, uh, yeah, and I don't know. We just like writing music together. So I guess we don't think about it too much, you know? Do you have, like, the most meaningful song there, guys, uh, that you've ever written? I feel like the mean... Well, I feel like picking favorite songs is tough to do because my feelings change over time. Like, at this moment right now, like, you're... I'm trying to think. Um, I'm pretty proud of... I'm pretty proud of Timelines. It's a newer song. It's very autobiographical, but it's also, I feel like it's pretty universal in that even though it's telling my specific story, I feel like other people can relate to those moments, whatever they were for them at that time in their lives. Um, so I feel like I did a pretty good job of writing something for me as well as others. Uh, so I like that one. I know you, um, you did some work on Uh, that is still, it's been recorded, uh, but it has not been mixed or mastered yet. And I think it's getting mixed sometime, well, sometime before the end of the year, because I believe the record's coming out this year. Uh, but yeah, it was just Brian, who had worked with us as tour manager and guitar tech. Um, he's been in a bunch of bands, and he's a really talented musician. And he had all this really crazy, weird electronic music that I dug because uh, it reminded me of the 90s a lot and and then I asked him if I could just write some melodies over that and then it just kind of started there and then after about three years we finally had a bunch of songs uh, and then now he's got a band and a really kick-ass singer and uh, yeah so I'm really excited to hear how that the final final stuff turns out but yeah but I'm basically a writer in that in that band that's my role There are no plans to do anything like that in the future right now, but I won't entirely rule it out. But to try to do like three albums in one night might be kind of ridiculous. I'm just going to say that. That's tough. It depends. If the college show is a free college show to any of the students who don't have anything better to do that night, oftentimes you get confused people coming to the show. Um, but that can also be cool because you can win people over. But sometimes, you know, it's, it's just like, it's a very strange thing. Uh, but we've had some really amazing college shows as well. Um, and the Warped Tour, I mean, it, it depends. Like, different years are different. But I feel like the, we've been fortunate enough where on Warped Tour there's a lot of people that are coming out to see us. So, so it's been really good. 
So yeah, I don't know. It's tough. There's there's like it's kind of hard to compare them. I think. Mm. <laughs> no, luckily, yeah. I mean, it's it's not gonna bother me any, but it's just I think that's kind of what you get, and I guess that would be kind of the thing too. Yeah, because you get people who are just interested in in going and drinking, and um, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I think that that's their right to do. So, but that's kind of what it's like. It's like uh, like how many of you actually know who we are, and how many of you dig it, and then how many of you don't care, and how many you know. It's just there's like a lot of different things going on. At those shows. I know you're a big movie buff. Um, I know you really like movies a lot. Um, you actually uh, do, do like side work on film. But um, if you could put like any most say soundtrack song in any moment of like one of your favorite movies, you could lift off and put on the view. Do you have any ideas? I'm trying to think of a good disaster film because I feel like Everyone Will Die would work well in one of those. Or just like I feel like Everyone Will Die would be like the perfect. Um, Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the name. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like one of those sad slow motion end of the TV show moments type songs. That's all I got off the top of my head. I any of our songs will do. I'll be honest. I think they should all be in movies. Call me. Common Revolt. 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 Okay. Hello, this is Justin Pierre from Motion City Soundtrack, and you're watching Common Revolt. Yeah.